Hi all, I'm planning to do a playlist which consists of the best practices to follow and common mistakes to avoid. To start with in this video, I will be explaining about the best practices of using the import statement. So number one would be the order of import statements. So we are we all are aware of import statements. So import statements means we import the things which are depended. It would be the library core library files and the user defined files. It would be the third party component files. So all the files which are we need those dependencies we can import and we can use them in our file. So let's see what would be the best order in importing the files. So at first we need to import the core libraries. Like if a project is dependent dependent upon the React application, so the core libraries would comes under the React. And if you are using any React router, so that also will come, come comes under the core library. So after that, give a line break and come to the second point. So the second set of import statements would be the third party libraries. Uh, say if if I am using the React material component library, so I can use all those uh, components library under the second part of importing and after a line break i can use the user defined import statements so such as i might have using the services and utility files in our project so i can use them as the third set of import statements so i will explain that with the code so this would be the core library and after that we need to give a line break and i'm importing the material components from the component library and the third one and after a line break and i am giving a import statements of user defined files so these are the files i have created i mean components we have created so i am pointing to this user defined components so this would be the best order of import statements so coming to the second point avoid the long relative path to point the files so here if you observe the 14th line I'm pointing to a snack bar component where I'm giving dot dot hyphen dot dot hyphen. So I'm trying to give a relative path to point that exact component. So this breaks, this is known as a relative path. So it's good to break, I mean, avoid these relative paths. How to avoid these relative paths means uh, we need to go to the TS config file. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that we are uh, build this application in a TypeScript configuration. So in this configuration file, we have a paths. So we can give a paths, and now you can mention this. I have given path, and uh, this would be our uh, own. I can give anything here. So I'm giving at the rate, hyphen star, and I'm giving this one. So here paths would be a set of entities. We can give a set of entities here, which will remap the relative paths. It will remap the relative path with what we have mentioned here. So for example, I have given the SRC hyphen star. I mean, I'm pointing to SRC folder here with at the rate symbol. So now here uh, I will comment out this and uh, I will show how we need to avoid this with at the rate symbol. So now I am removed this and I have given this. So here, see, at the rate means now I'm pointing to SRC folder. So inside that SRC folder, I can point to any of the files. So if I give at the rate, and now I'm getting the list of available folders under this SRC. So in this way, we need to avoid the long relative paths. We need to use paths in, from the TypeScript configuration. So here you can also add something called test. So if you have test in your files, so you can also do like this. We can have a set of entities. So now, now wherever you want, you can import them in this format. I mean, only the test with the only the test you can import. So one thing we need to notice while using paths, it is very, uh, it, it would be dependent upon the base URL. So we need to compulsory have the base URL in this format dot only. So dot represents the current uh, directory. If something changes at this base URL, we need to change accordingly in this paths. So this is all about avoiding the long relative paths. So coming to the third point, 
import what is necessary at that point i mean here at this point i will try to explain this i am importing a button from material ui core package this is a component library of react material this is a component library which uh, core consists of all the uh, basic uh, components here see i am importing the package entire package for the sake of only button so that's not the right way so if i am only using a button so i need to directly point to the button and i need to use that button directly straight forward not i i should not point to entire package instead i need to point to the button and I only i need to use that button so if there are three components i mean uh, if if there are more than three components in this way then we need to make this in a single line i mean then we, we need to point this to the core package like this we can give we can import all the three in one line in one single line and we can point that to the package so this would be the best practice if you are using only one component or two component don't directly import the material components i mean directly don't refer to the package only refer to that particular component if you are if there are more than three components in your file dependent so then only you refer to particular component i mean particular package so this is the best way of using the import statements if there are any questions please comment me thanks for watching